happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited you guys um double dip was kind enough to send me over their may mystery box so this is my first time ever unboxing a mystery box from double dip and so i'm excited to share with you all what comes in their box for the month of may and this is what the box is looking like here so let me zoom out just a little bit so you all can get the full view of it but it says um youth fades love droops the leaves of friendship fall a mother's secret hope outlives them all oh that's cute okay so i'm guessing this is going to be a mother's day themed mystery box here but it says the may surprise mystery box so yeah you guys um on the side here it does say uh, double dip and it has all of their handles here so yeah let's hop in and see what's included i'm excited for this well then let me do that again because my address was showing so let's do that one more time all right so let's see what's included y'all okay that is really cute take two went well take two went well so that is cute they have these like um little i guess cardboard pieces in here let me see if i can zoom out a little bit more okay yeah i think that's a good view for you guys yeah so um i guess these i don't know these aren't st are these stickers y'all oh they are stickers oh, okay so they included a ton of stickers so we got this little uh, purple glob not really sure what that is we got like a little earth here they're so cute though oh what's this a little soda bottle pork soda that's cute we got you know that we got these lips here i really like the lips the lips are probably my favorite and so yeah that's cute they have like the little stickers and such so we have these that's included um, it says the May Surprise Mystery Box. It says, you're so beautiful and amazing, babe. That's a really cute little message there. And then on the back, um, just got some information about the Mystery Box and for purchasing, along with their Facebook page or Instagram page. So that's pretty cool. And this package really nice and neat and cute. I like the little, you know, confetti and such. So let's move it to the side. Let's see what we got. All right, y'all, all right. Very cool. So first off, oh, what? solid nail gel oh my gosh okay so this is the colorina pro artist solid nail gel don't tell me this is like the little like the little makeup palette looking cream gel oh my god if that's what this is i'm gonna be super excited like wow let's get this open and see okay but it says on the back here it says it's a 16 color solid nail gel i'm pretty sure this is those like makeup gel palettes that I've been seeing go around. Like I think Model Ones has one. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see how pretty this is? What? Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Okay, let me calm down. Look at, oh my, look at these colors, you guys. Oh my. This is really beautiful. Okay, so this is the palette here. It just, again, just says the name of it. And wow, so um, this is a solid nail gel. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on these. On the packaging here, it's all written in like a different language, so I'm not really sure how to use it. So I'm gonna research that before we do anything with it. But how freaking cute is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. They're all like beautiful muted tone colors. Um, and it comes with 16 of them. Like how cool is that? You can even travel with them. This is cool. All right, so we got the solid nail gel, okay. I absolutely love this. And the packaging of it is just everything. It's so adorable, it's so cute, I love that. So next we have, looks like we got another sticker here. That's pretty cool, okay. And then let's see what this is. Oh my gosh, okay, UV gloves. That's different. You know, I've seen I've seen people use these in their videos um, where they'll put them on like so. Okay. And this is supposed to help protect your hands from the UV 
LED light from always curing it all the time. I don't know that I would actually use these in my videos because, you know, I don't know. To me, it like looks kind of weird, but I do think I like the concept of it. Typically, when I do my nails, I actually go in with some sunscreen lotion and I just rub it all over my hands just to kind of protect my skin um, when I because I know I am constantly going in and out of the UV LED lamp. Um, so that's kind of what I do to protect my skin. So that's just like a little hack or a little tip for you guys if you don't want to wear the gloves. But the gloves are nice, you know. If I don't use them for nails, which I probably won't, I know I can find another use for them. So that's cool that this is included in the mystery box you guys that is really cool let's see what else this, this is is this a mini LED lamp oh my gosh okay very very cool so we have the mini LED lamp which is really awesome I literally just purchased one of these from Shein so yeah but you can never have too many of them so I'm actually using the one that I have as a jelly stamper so I um, let me show you guys so I actually literally just haul something like this but I'm using it as a jelly stamper right so um, I don't have one for just like the regular light so that is what I will use this for and this is cute I like this color better it's a cute little pink color so you guys you know you can use this to kind of flash cure your tips in place if you're doing charms nail art things like that you can use it to just kind of flash cure your items in place so super cool happy to have this so far, I'm really liking everything in this box. It's like so different and unique, you know? And then next we have here some dip powders. Ooh. So the first color we have here is Berry Summer. Oh, this looks really pretty. This looks like a nice, beautiful, like pastel blue with some um, different confettis in here. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. Wow, that's gorgeous. So a lot of light blues, light pinks, like baby pinks, and then it has a little bit of gold in there. Yeah, that's very beautiful. I can't wait to swatch this, okay? So that's nice. So you get one dip powder. It looks like you get three dip powders in total. So that's one here. The second one you get is, it's, it's a mystery color. So let's see what this looks like, okay? So it's like a white color that has these really beautiful white iridescent glitters along with like it looks like some purples and some golds and such. I mean these things are gorgeous you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's that. And then the third color here. Oh this is pretty. It's called Scarlet Dress. It's called Scarlet Dress. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. It looks like a really nice fiery orange. Oh, yeah. Ooh, wow. This looks like a blood orange color. This is really pretty. So a nice, vibrant blood orange color here. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, I love that. Okay. Oh, all right, y'all. Okay, double dip coming through with the goodies, okay? And then what else we got in here? We got another sticker here. And then we have... That's so cute. They actually include some swatch sticks to make our lives easier so we don't have to go hunting down swatch sticks. So that's pretty cool. It comes with three swatch sticks for the three powders. And then last but definitely not least, you guys, it comes with some dip liquids. You guys know I rave on and on and on about Double Dip's dip powder and their dip liquids. This stuff is really good. So absolutely love the packaging, all right? I mean, they always knock it out the park with the packaging. Never disappointed with that. Let's take a look at these dip liquids here. So it does come with a few different dip, dip, dip liquids. They are numbered one through five. So we have here a base coat, an activator, top coat, and a brush cleanser. So these are all really good dip liquids. These are actually one of the first dip liquids that I ever tried, as well as dip powders I ever tried, and I'm in love with them. They're still one of my favorites to use um, out of all the ones that I've tried thus far. So yeah y'all that's everything that is included okay in this mystery box you guys um 
that was a lot of fun. So yeah, this is everything that came in the mystery box. I am gonna go ahead and get these dip powders swatched for you guys. Yeah, and also I do have full tutorials on these two looks, so I will leave that link down in the description box in case you guys wanna check it out. But yeah, y'all, let's hop into this. So this is what the three dip powders look like swatched. Excuse my swatches. Um, I guess I'm not that good at swatching chunky glitters, so I just learned that about myself, okay? <laughs> But the first color, let me see if I can just kind of look at the colors here while I show you guys. This is all of them swatched all together, so I'll just show you them individually. The first one here is Scarlet Dress, so that's what this color looks like. It's a really nice blood orange color. It's really, really pretty and really deep. I, re I like that a lot. The next color here is the mystery color, so I'm not actually sure what this is called, but it's a really pretty glittery color here. Um, I like the iridescent glitters that's in this mix. That's really pretty. I always enjoy using the double dip glitter powders. And then my favorite one is actually Berry Summer. And that's what this looks like. And it just looks like a really fun, festive color. Really fun, festive glitter. I mean, it has some golds. It has the pink. It has the green. Um, it does feel like summertime. Um, but actually looking at it though, it kind of makes me feel, it gives me uh, baby shower vibes though. <laughs> But yeah, it's really, really pretty. So these are the three colors here. And um, yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the look. Okay, happy people, I am back. And I have decided what I want to do to my nails. So I am going to go in with this solid nail gel. And I've been excited to put one of these to use for a long time. And I wanna go in and do some abstract nails, you guys. I'm gonna go in with my full cover coffin tips. And I am going to apply them using the Double Dip Bella Vina Top Coat. That's like my new favorite way to apply my nail tips. And then I'm also going to apply them using my Maroon Pillow Base Coat. I'm going to do all of that off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so all of my full cover tips have been applied. Um, next, I'm actually going to go in with base coat over the full cover tips. I typically don't do that because I really don't feel like I need base coat over full cover tips to get the gel polish to adhere um, because the surface is roughed up. But because I'm using a solid nail gel, I'm not really sure um, how that's gonna apply. So I just wanna make sure that the surface of it is nice and even. So I'm gonna go in with a layer of my base coat here and apply that to all the nails and then I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. Now I want to go in with a few of these different colors. I wanted to test out a few of them just to see how they all work and apply. And I'm actually going to go in with this beautiful orange color here. It's kind of like a burnt orange. Okay, I'm going to go in with this gray color over here. And I'm also going to go in with this muted blue color over here. We're going to try to create an abstract nail art design with this. So, I do have my nail art brush here. I'm gonna have just a little bit of alcohol here. Um, I guess I don't need to wet my brush technically. And I think what I wanna do is go in with this orange color on the middle and the pinky finger. And then I'm gonna go in with the gray color on the ring and this blue color on my index. I'm gonna start with the orange color first. Okay, actually let's, let's talk about the consistency of this, all right? So it's very soft and very creamy. Like look how it picks up, it's almost like I was expecting it because they said solid for it to be um, a little bit of a harder consistency, but it's like a it's like a cream consistency, which is really cool. So let's go ahead. It's my first time working on any type of like solid nail colors here, so let's see how it applies. Okay, nice and thick. I think I need to get more on the brush here for a smoother application. So let's see. Very nice. I feel like you have to kind of have a little bit of a light touch when applying this cream so that you don't have like streaks and such. But I like the fact that it um, kind of, it stays where you put it at, which is kind of nice, you know? It's not like loose and moving around like most gel polishes are. It's just, it's, it stays right where you put it at, which is really cool. 
Okay, so that's the first coat here. Again, it's looking kind of streaky, but I think I'm just uh, learning how to use it because this is a different consistency for a gel than what I'm used to. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over the nail here. So that's looking pretty good so far. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cure it and then go in with the second coat before I clean my brush off. That way I don't have to keep cleaning my brush off multiple times. So that's what one coat of coverage looks like. It looks like it self levels ever so slightly, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. This is what the first coat looks like after it's been cured. Kind of curious about the consistency. Is it sticky? Okay. Wow, it doesn't really even feel like it has a sticky layer to it. Like it has a slight sticky layer, but not really. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's one coat coverage. Looking pretty nice and opaque for one coat. So I'm gonna go in with the second coat on both of these fingers here. And again, you wanna get a nice amount of the product onto the brush first before you go in with the application. So this is how much I have on the brush before I go in with the application, okay? Like so. Because it's of a thicker consistency, you want to have a little bit more so you can not necessarily float the product on, but not have to press so hard in order to get a nice smooth application. And then you just want to be careful around the cuticle area, swipe down, swipe down, swipe down. This is what two coats of coverage is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. That's what that looks like. Now I'm gonna go in with this blue on my index finger here, okay? That's a nice muted blue color. looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. That's what one coat of coverage looks like. I'm gonna go in with the second coat. Yeah, this stuff is really opaque, which I which I like, you know? It's very opaque. So now on this ring finger here, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful muted kind of gray color. Take a little bit of my brush here, okay? Apply straight to the nail. Really pretty. Yeah, I'm finding with these is good to get the cuticle area nice and tight first and then go ahead and swipe down. So that application was a lot easier now that I've kind of gotten the hang of how these polishes work. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the second coat of the gray color here. Again, you wanna get the cuticle area nice and tight first, and then you'll come and swipe down to get coverage on the rest of the nail. Beautiful. All right, that's lovely. Cure for 60 seconds. This is what all the polishes look like cured with two coats. So yeah, I'm really liking this solid nail gel. It's not bad at all. It's interesting to work with because it's a different consistency than what I'm used to, but I'm liking it so far. So yeah, um, I applied that to all the nails. Now I am gonna go in with a top coat here. Okay, so I actually just ran out of my Bellavina Double Dip Top Coat. So I'm gonna go in with a brand new one, thank goodness, that I have a backup here and apply top coat to all the nails, okay?
I'm gonna flip for 10 seconds and then cure for 60. So this is what all the nails look like with two coats of that solid nail gel. Um, when I did my thumbnail off camera, I really liked how this kind of burgundy burnt um, red kind of orangish color looked. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's really pretty. So I went ahead and actually added that to my pinky um, just to kind of, you know, be able to test out a few more colors. I do feel like these two colors here look very, very similar. I mean, if you look close enough, you can tell that they're different, but they look pretty similar to the naked eyes. So yeah, I am going to go in now with a couple of my abstract stickers here. And um, yeah, let's see. Let's see what kind of look we can get. So I really feel like Okay, I feel like these gray stickers here, this is what really, like the scheme I was going for when I was applying the polishes. Those gray stickers is I think what I was planning on using here. So I think I'm gonna go in with a few of those. And then I really like this beautiful face here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with some of those faces. So let's just, let's just see what ends up happening. So I have my tweezers here. I definitely wanna go in with the face on my index finger. So let's do that here. Okay. And so I'm gonna apply that right to the index finger here. Okay. That's what that looks like. You can't really see it though. That kinda sucks. Now, I feel like I need a brighter color on this nail. Yeah, I feel like I need brighter colors on this nail. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull these out too. Just to see what I can come up with here. I guess we're gonna create this together on the spot, you guys, because I'm not really sure I'm liking how deep that color is. So maybe I'll go in with a few. Um, I need color. I think I'm gonna go in with this sticker here, actually. I want a splash of color on this nail. I need it to come to life a little bit more here. This gray tone is kinda, it's a little bit too muted. So I'm gonna actually add that here. No, that throws the set off, it's not gonna work. So let me take this back off here, okay. Oh no, I tore my sticker, no! It's okay, it'll still get used. I don't think that's gonna work, I don't think this is either. So let me stick with what I was gonna go with originally. And let's see what else we can add to it. I think maybe I'm gonna go in and add this right here to the nail. Let's see what that looks like. I think that looks better. Yeah, I think that looks okay. What do y'all think? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. I think I like that. So that's the index finger here. And then for the middle finger, I think I wanna go in with this right here. It has like different colors and it has a little bit of that kind of the gray tone, but it has blue in it too, which kind of brings a different like feel to the design, so I'm gonna go in with that one. Maybe like, yeah, maybe like right here. Maybe off to the side, let's do off to the side. Let's see, and then I need to add like something here. I kinda wanna do lines on the nail. This line here, okay, something like this. Okay, happy people. So I wanted to pop in really quick. Um, I wanted to leave in a little bit more footage to show how my creative process works with this particular design. I know it's just applying stickers, um, but there is a rhyme or reason um, when you apply stickers, when you do your nail art. So I hope you all don't mind, but I kept some of that footage in with me kind of deciding where I wanted to place the stickers and things like that. Um, just so you all can kind of see what that process looks like for me. Um, so yeah, let's hop back into the tutorial. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go in with this little block here. Add that in, like so. Yeah, that's what's missing. And then get that right here. And I think I'll add one more block right here. Then on this finger here, I think I do want to add more color. And I'm actually liking how this lady right here looks. So I'm going to add her on. Okay. Like so. Add her right. Maybe I'll do her off 
center. And one thing that I do, this is just random, but one thing that I do when I'm applying stickers is um, I don't actually press them all the way down, right? I'll just kind of lay them on the, on the, on the nail just to kind of see how I like how everything is laying. And then once I like it, I'll press all the stickers down, unless I know exactly what design I'm going for. So I like how that looks. I kind of want to add some more lines in. I like those little like squiggly line situation. I like how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and press everything down. Okay, yeah, it's looking pretty good too. Yeah, I think it looks good like this. All right, so this is what all the stickers look like applied. And y'all, I'm liking how it is coming together so far. So again, this is my first abstract design. And I think where I placed all the stickers look pretty darn good to me, y'all. Um, this, I feel like the colors are kind of giving me fall vibes, but I'm feeling it. So y'all know I just recently did a matte manicure and I've been loving the matte look. So I'm actually gonna go in with my matte top coat from Nail Addict and apply that to all the nails, y'all. And we gonna get into this finished look, okay? Baby? Oh my God, y'all, let me just, let me throw the cuticle oil on so we can get into this look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? OMG, I am here for this, y'all. That mat, when I say it hit different every time, it hits different every single time. Time. I am absolutely loving how this set turned out, y'all. Do y'all see this masterpiece? Wow! I love the matte effect, y'all. I think I didn't. I think I didn't start something. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think matte. I have been sleeping on it for quite some time. Like this, really, I feel like makes this design pop. I feel like a glossy top coat over over these types of colors wouldn't have made a statement as much as the statement is being made. Okay with this matte top coat, okay? I'm loving how this stuff turned out. It's kind of interesting too because I feel like with the matte top coat, it almost kind of gives the nails like a clay look to it. Do you all see that too? Like, they kind of look like clay, which is really beautiful and really cool. Like, I'm loving that. I almost kind of wish too that I had to put this color on that nail instead, but I am just, y'all, overall, I'm here for the look, okay? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm here for it, okay? So yeah, I am a fan of this solid nail gel. It's from Hello. It came in the Double Dip Mystery Box. So thoughts on the mystery box. You guys, I really enjoyed this mystery box. So it came with the solid nail gel. It came with the gloves. It came with the mini uh, flashlight LED lamp, the UV gloves. It came with three dip powders. And the dip liquids were actually separate, but all right, y'all. So my camera overheated <laughs> while I was getting ready to do my outro, and a thing happened off camera on this hand. Can you all tell? I'll get into it in just a moment. But yeah, y'all, the double dip did give me a special code for those um, dip liquids. The special code is Row Mystery. So I'm gonna leave that on the screen here. With being able to get those dip liquids for free, that's almost half of what this mystery box is worth. So um, with that, I definitely think the May mystery box is worth it. And it was a lot of fun testing out these products. Again, special thanks to Double Dip for sending me over their mystery box to review. I had a lot of fun with that. So yeah, y'all, let's get back into this look. So what happened off camera was the fact that I went in and I added some cuticle bling. I felt like the set was missing something. Like I said, my camera overheated, so I'm just sitting off camera looking at my set while it's cooling off. And y'all, I had to add a little bit of bling at the cuticle. And I feel like that really brought the set to life just a little bit more right so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all 
as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.